I'll be your guide through some music activities, fun activities to share with your little one. It's my hope that during this special time together that you'll be able to build a strong bond between you and your child and while having fun with music at the same time. Young children are instinctively reactive to music. Hearing music with a strong beat, a fun melody, a young child, even a baby, will bounce, wiggle, and dance as a natural response. It's that natural response that we want to tap into while introducing music readiness skills and of course having fun. The benefits of age-appropriate music in the early years using simple songs, rhythmical chants, and movement are many. The child thinks that they're just having a good time, but the important building blocks of learning and music readiness are happening, including language development, memory skills, large motor skills, balance and coordination, and so much more. Most important, having fun together. Now you notice that I said fun several times before, and uh, baby or adult, music is joyful, fun, creative, and expressive, whether you're an active participant or listening. I'd like to thank Above and Beyond Children's Museum and the Sheboygan Symphony for their partnership in creating Music Mondays for Littles. And soon, there'll be music for three to five year olds. So let's get started, let's have some fun, and let's get singing and dancing. See you soon. Hi, welcome to session one of Music Mondays for Littles. I'm Kathy Peroni, your teacher, and we're ready and excited to get started with some music readiness for zero to two-year-olds. We're gonna start every session with the same song. We're gonna end the session with the same song so the child knows after a few sessions or repeat sessions that music class is starting, music class is ending. So put your child on your lap. Oh, I must introduce Gus. This is my friend Gus. And he is always so happy to come to music class with me. What's that? Oh, Gus said stop talking and get singing. Okay, so here we go. Put your child on your lap. You can be sitting on the floor, pretzel leg, or you can be in a chair like I am. It's so flexible, whatever works for you and what you wanna do. Take your child's two hands and we're to go simply rock back and forth. We're actually rocking to the steady beat. And we're gonna sing, the more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay, give yourself a big clap. Your child when they're done with an activity. So while we do our music sessions, I'll be interjecting some comments for the parents or the caretaker and mostly focus on the child. But I'll let you know the benefits of all the little things that we do throughout our session. Okay, so we're going to go into bounces. Bounces also is music steady beat. You'll find in our sessions a lot is built around the steady beat. It's the heartbeat of music after all. So with your child on your knee or you can bounce them on the floor, if your child is two or a little older, they can take a doll or a puppet and bounce it on their knee. So you wanna make it for age appropriate for them. If you've got a little one, you're gonna be doing everything to them. If they're starting to respond and want to do things and hold things, give them the independence to do something like I am, having cuts bones on my knee. Okay, I have a song for you about Jack the Mule. You ever hear a mule named Jack? Well, let me tell you what happened when Jack went for a walk one day. Had a mule, his name was Jack. I rode his tail to save his back. Tail got loose and I fell back. Whoa, mule, and you fall backwards. Fall backwards on the floor at 
the end of your chair, whatever you're doing. You can even stand and do a bounce this way. So if your baby's a little fussy um, and they like bigger bounces, or if they don't like big bounces, you can do gentle little ones. Make it age appropriate. Had a mule, his name was Jack. I rode his tail to save his back. Tail got loose and I fell back. Whoa, mule. And I'm sure the children are just giggling at this point. Okay. Here's another bounce. And I usually like to go bounce, bounce, here we go. That starts establishing the steady beat. Bounce, bounce, here we go. See how I'm bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. See how I'm bouncing like a ball. You didn't know I could bounce so high. Woo! You didn't know I could stand so still. See how I'm bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. When I am tired down, I fall. And you can take them down to the ground or just tip them. Again, you want to do what your child is comfortable with. The little the really little ones under six months, uh, you're going to want to make those motions real gentle. For the older ones, you know your child, you know, bounce them a lot, bounce them gently, you know their comfort level. And that's what's so cool about all of these activities is they can be so flexible to fit your child. Let's do that one again. I'm going to give Gus a rest here. Just like we all probably grew up with this little piggy went to market. Okay, that's a great one, but it's my hope to teach you more. So you can come back in the future, see this video again, future videos, memorize them and use them at your discretion when you need it at home. So we're going to start with your child's thumb and you're simply going to wiggle this little cow eats grass. This little cow eats hay. This little cow drinks water. And this little cow runs away. But this little cow does nothing but lie around all day. We'll chase her, we'll chase her, we'll chase her away. Now you can turn that little wiggle into a tickle. You can tickle on their belly. You can tickle up their arm, uh, make circles in their palm. Or you can, if your child is older, chase them around the house. They love that. Of course, you know they love to be chased. So that's another fun thing. The children wait for that moment where they can take off and run and then you grab them. So let's do that again. Let's do the other fingers. This little cow eats grass. This little cow eats hay. This little cow drinks water. But this little cow runs away. This little cow does nothing but lie around all day. We'll chase her, we'll chase her, we'll chase her away. And then you can turn it into a tickle, tickle on their arms, down their legs. All right. What's that? Oh, do you want to do that one? Okay, Gussie says he loves a little flea went walking. This is a tickle. And we know all those little ones like to be tickled and make them laugh. All right, Gussie, are you ready? What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. He said it's his favorite one. Okay. So what you're going to do is walk up your child. 
child's arm, or you can go up their leg, and you're just going to kind of walk all over their body. A little flea went walking to see what he could see, but all that he could see was baby's little belly. And if you turn it into a tickle, I recommend you putting your own child's name where I said baby's little belly. Put your child's name in there because I love to hear their name in song. Let's try that one again, okay? We're going to go up the legs this time. A little flea went walking to see what he could see, but all that he could see was baby's little belly. I love using this one in the bathtub. A lot of these you can do at bathtub time. That is such downtime that you can bring any of these chants and games into play. And with your wash clock, you know, you could be rubbing along their neck, on their back, or one tap, tap, tap with the wash clock. Okay. Gussie, you're going to have to take a break for this one. This is called Roly Poly. Like this. Now, for the little ones, parents, again, you have to do things for them and you're going to move their arms if they'll let you. If they don't like it, you do it. Okay, but for the older ones, can you roly poly with me? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down. Get your roly poly going. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly, out, out, up. Roly poly, roly poly, in, in, in. Give them a squeak. Roly poly, roly poly. Roly poly, roly poly, sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh, good job. Give yourself a big clap. Wasn't that fun? Oh, I like that. Okay. Gussie's coming back again. This is like a little tapping game. Uh, again, we're working with steady beat. Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear each sound. One little mouth that likes to eat. One little nose to smell what's sweet. One little hand to say night night. Two little arms to hug mama tight. soothing little chant. So let's try that again. Two little eyes to look all around. Two little ears to hear each sound. One little mouth that likes to eat. One little nose to smell what's sweet. One little hand to wave night night. Put on some music for the child to listen to at bath time or do some of these chants and games with them.
makes bath time a whole lot more fun. I think we all know Rub-a-Dub-Dub -dub three men in the tub, so this is a great one to use at bath time. Take your washcloth and just simply start going around your child's head or their back or their belly, whatever you want to clean up. Rub-a-Dub-Dub -dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? Go to another part. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them out to sea. Whee! And maybe you can splash. Let's try that again. All right, take a different part of the body to clean up. Maybe it's the bottom of their foot. Rub-a-dub-dub, three men in a tub. And who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, and all of them out to sea. Whee! Okay, fun time. All right. Gussie's coming back again. Boy, he's going to have a big sleep when we get home today, aren't you, Gus? Oh, but he doesn't mind. I know that. This is called Cockled Squirrel. Oh, I'm sorry. This one is called Gray Squirrel. Gray Squirrel, swish your bushy tail. So with your child standing on, on the floor, on your leg, we're going to go. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Now touch their toes. Hold a nut between your toes. Tap your nose. Wrinkle up your little nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Oh, wasn't that fun? Let's try that again. So let's swish back and forth. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Hold a nut between your toes, wrinkle up your little nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Oh, what fun. Okay. This is one of my favorites. Can you open your hands like this? Parents, for the real little ones, you might want to do this in front of them. And as they grow older and get familiar with the motions and the, the chant, they'll start mimicking you. Okay, so you're going to open your hands really, really big. Now, could you close them up tight? Open them up big again. Open, shut them open. Shut them, give your hands a clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Let's try that again. Open them up real big. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give your hands a clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Now, creep them, creep them. Creep them, creep them, way up to your chin. Open up your little mouths, but do not let them in. Falling, falling, gently falling, softly to the ground. Quickly wiggle them in the air and wiggle them around. <laughs> okay. So if you want the words, go back, check them out, replay the video, and you'll have all the words for you. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is some music. So I'm going to get my recording ready here. There's a lot of different things you can do with the child. Uh, for the babies, just simply uh, hold them and move with them. If they're a little toddler, it's great to still have that special time to move with them and hold them. If they're more independent and they want to walk around, you just walk and let them follow you because we're listening and moving to music.
marching around the room. Nonsense words like we would go do 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 or la la la. So, how's your child snuggling nice? Fade the dough and let us go dreaming. Fade the dough, come dreaming with me. Fade the dough and let us go dreaming. class is done is clap your hands. So let's get them clapping. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Shake, shake, shake your head. Shake your head together. Shake, shake, shake your head. Shake your head together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye. Wave goodbye together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Yay, what a fun time today. Come back often, replay this video, and memorize some songs. Have a wonderful, memorable time with your child, and I'll see you in the future. Keep singing and dancing.